World Advocates say there were almost 3,000 confirmed victims of child abuse and neglect in the Wichita and Abilene region last year alone. More than 500 of them were right here in Wichita County. Two children died. Shatanya Clark joined the Walk of Knowledge today in Shatanya. Their hope is to raise awareness to what's happening right here in our own backyard. That's right, Darrell. At today's Walk of Knowledge, participants learned ways they can help bring these numbers down. No child, I mean, should have to go through the things that I've had to endure personally. Brooke Shoemake says she grew up in the foster care system and knows firsthand the effects of child abuse. That's why she advocates for every boy and girl who cannot speak for themselves. I'm a survivor of sexual abuse. I'm a survivor of child abuse. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a survivor of sexual exploitation. And I'm a survivor of emotional and mental abuse as well. There was nothing, nothing beautiful about my life. And if you ask people that know me personally, they would ask how the heck did she get to where she's at today. The mother of four now advocates for little ones through Casa off Red River. And on this first day of Child Abuse Prevention and Awareness Month, she wants others to know the importance of doing the same. I'm here today to walk with my colleagues and other organizations to bring awareness to the fact that child abuse is existent. Shoes line the sidewalks at Friday Walk of Knowledge, representing each victim of child abuse or neglect in Wichita County in 2021. That's 565 victims, and they represent only the victims from cases filed. How many more victims are out there, no one knows. Crystal Flynn is the care coordinator for the HOPES program at the North Texas Area United Way, where they promote healthy outcomes through prevention and early services. She says this was very impactful. If every one of those victims were lined up in these shoes, how many kids it would be that were confirmed to be affected by child abuse and neglect last year, just right here in our county? We also have a small memorial for the two deaths that occurred in our county last year. Um, so just to think about that and to know how important prevention is. Something her program focuses on. The stronger a family is, the less likely the children are to be abused. And when parents reach out for help before the crisis happens, we can get in there, help the family, help the kids, and just lift that family up. Meanwhile, over at Patsy's house. John Doe, age seven. Jane Doe infant. Volunteers, including the district attorney, read names representing those 565 victims. Flynn and Shoemake encourage Texomans to be aware and fight for those who can't fight for themselves. As I walk in, I see all these shoes. I mean, it's just a reality check of how this still exists and how people need to speak up more. And there are a lot of events going on throughout this month that you can find over on our website. Wow, what a, what a, a story that Brooke has, and we do appreciate her sharing that. I know that's going to reach a lot of people and I resonate with a, a lot of people. I can't think of a better advocate out there right now. Yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. Okay, Shatanya, thank you so much.